Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of SAP Basis Training. In this section, we will learn the overview of customizing in SAP system. We also briefly seen what is customizing means in our previous sessions. Here we will see more details about customizing, the customizing which is required for individual business requirement. We will also see how we can use SAP IMG configuration that that is how to use SAP implementation guide and solution manager for doing customizing for business requirement. Okay, let's see what is customizing. Customizing is done in SAP system to meet every individual customer or every individual company requirement. Let's say in kind of business transaction or in a company or let's take an example of a multinational company who is going to do who is going to sell some kind of video equipment so here we can see so you have a company code which is 0001 it can be a four digit code so we need to configure this code in the SAP system as well as each sales organization this sales organization can be different from one country to an another country or even one country you can have more than one sales organization so inside the sales organizations you can have uh, wholesale sales as well as you can have consumer sales that is retail sales like this you will have organization structure in each and every company in order to fulfill your company requirement or your business requirement. These are configured in SAP system using SAP IMG. So these configurations are called customizing. This customizing can be coming from different modules. For example, SD, sales and distribution the sales and distribution will have the sales activity meaning to say all customizing related to sales belong comes from SD module and MM MM is material management where they will have the distribution channels and uh, stocking of the uh, stocking storing of the uh, materials and how we can procure these materials these kind of informations are stored in MM like material masters where, where what kind of categories you want to create in material master this kind of informations and maybe plan maintenance in plan maintenance you can use customer service where you will take care of after sales supports like warranties and how you are going to handle these kind of things so like these modules also integrated together in order to configure the entire business requirement of a specific customer. So SAP give you the options that you can customize your SAP system according to individual's requirement. So it is possible, it is, it is necessary that once you have an SAP system, then you need to create customizing changes based on your company requirement. So our SAP system provides a variety of options where you can do customizing. The first one is the SAP IMG activity that is SAP project implementation activity. Here SAP reference implementation guide that is SAP IMG. Here you can do all customizing activity in this single platform in this particular platform whereas you have let's say around 20,000 of customizing tables which can be customized using this IMG configuration 
This IMG configuration means it does not only provide option for configuration, but it will also provide the documentation and the recommended configuration for every configuration which needs to be done at that specific configuration. So it has a very comprehensive documentation which is required by every functional consultant. Moreover, the IMG configuration will also specify that specific configuration is whether it is client dependent configuration or client independent configuration. And this configuration also grouped into different modules. So each configuration, the IMG configuration are grouped as per the module. There will be customizing which will be interlinked with two different uh, two different modules. However, the IMG is grouped in a such a way that each module is almost, you can say, almost grouped as per module, as per the module. So it's very easy to navigate within this IMG configuration what needs to be configured. It's quite easy to navigate because of this group. This project IMG can be accessed using a transaction code SPRO where you can also create new projects and you can configure these projects. So let's go to the system. Here if you go to SPRO, you will come to this customizing screen where you select the project SAP reference, where you select SAP reference IMG. Here you can see the customizing activities. So let's take, let's take SAP NetWeaver, general setting, setting countries. You can see here every node have a documentation. If I select this documentation and it gives me the detail of this particular node, what it is used for. In this section, you define application independent system settings. These settings are prerequisites for handling all business transactions. So the general setting is prerequisite for all the business transactions. So I went to countries and let's say define countries in my SAP system. Select this. Here you can see the details. You must include all the countries with which the company have business relations, business relationship. You need to follow the information for each country, general data, foreign trade characteristics, further test data. You can define each countries here. In general, all the countries are already available. If in case there is something is missing, you can create your own countries and define it. Okay, if, if I, so if you want to execute or if you want to do the IMG activity, that means the customizing activity, we simply click this button and it will take us here. So if you want to create a new country, we will say new entry, then we can create the new country here. Now let's say I want to see whether this customizing is cross client customizing, whether is cu customizing is going to affect the other clients. That means cross client customizing. For that, SPRO will also provide you detail of each configuration, whether it is cross client customizing or not. So if I go to additional information, Go to additional. Oops. You go to technical data, then client dependence. Select this, then you get 
one more column which says additional information. Here you can see activity business function that is cross client activity. These are client specific activity. We can see maintain calendar, it's a cross client activity. Maintain calendar for Japan, that's a cross client activity. Okay, so we have client specific customizing and cross client customizing. The cross client customizing can be identified from the IMG itself. It's quite easy to use. Now let's see what is project customizing. Let's say if you are running a project, you will have quite a lot of activities which is happening within the project. So if you want to manage the project efficiently using one project view inside SAP, then it is possible. Using this SAP IMG, you can create or you can do the entire project management like creating customizing objects and project views and you can also define the project scope and duration when it will start when it's going to end then you can also assign the team members of this project in a project you will have many team members doing different activities so you can assign all the project team members within this particular projects itself and you can also define the project language and what type of document you re require and you also have quite a lot of options within this project management to manage this project within the SAP itself and you can also do project works and these people will be doing quite a lot of project works like customizing activity documentation everything can be kept in one single location so this project creation can be done within SPRO using the transaction code SPRO admin you can directly go to this project administration let's go to the system if I go to session if I type in the transaction code SPRO SP RO underscore admin it will take you to the customizing of project administration directly otherwise you can also come from SPRO, SPRO. then we have go project management okay here you can create projects you can create projects it can be multiple projects let's say create then you need to specify one project name we set BC test 01 here you can specify all the elements which is required within this particular project okay Let's say this is a test project. Here you can see start and end, end time for planning data and the actual data, and then you can specify the scope, project view, project members, and you can define all the project members here. So it's quite useful to create a project within the IMG itself. Okay, let's save it. So far what we have seen is that using the IMG configuration, using the IMG, we can have, we can create projects and we can assign the consultant working in the project and it also have documentation within the IMG which is related to the customizing. However, if you see in the SAP implementation, you have different phases which you need to manage. As a project manager, the project manager needs to manage all the phases which is 
in the SAP implementation, which is basically the project preparation and uh, business blueprint. Then you will start doing realization, then the final preparation, and you will also do go live and the go live support. So you have different phases which you need to monitor or which you need to monitor manage during the SAP implementation. So to cover this entire project phase, SAP offers a different solution which is called solution manager. So in solution manager we can do quite a lot of activity. So project implementation also one of the benefit what you will get from solution manager. As I explained it before solution manager is a free tool which can be used by any customer whoever have SAP license. So using solution manager SAP offers the full life cycle management of SAP implementation which also includes setting up your landscape and also monitoring the landscape of the particular SAP implementation. So using the solution manager you can administrate the project, you can define the project support. So using SAP solution manager it helps you to set up your project during the project preparation and enables you to carry out the major administrating activity using the solution manager for the entire uh, entire project. An SAP solution manager also will help you to manage the system landscape centrally from the solution manager itself and it helps you to implement the template projects uh, in terms of uh, navigating the system landscape uh, you, you can navigate the entire landscape from the solution manager itself. It, it helps you do during the configuration as well as the testing phase. Uh, this central navigation will help you. And you can also define the documentation of your project. Uh, for example, business blueprint and the business process repository which all can be created or which are all can be created as well as monitored from the solution manager itself. As we see in the project IMG configuration, it solution manager also helps you to centrally manage your customizing using BC sets. BC sets is basically like uh, transports but you can configure, you can put all your configuration together and you can create BC sets. So in general basically using the solution manager you can centrally monitor or centrally control entire customizing changes which is going to happen in your SAP implementation landscape. Moreover, it also helps you to do the testing, for example, test coordinators, for, exa uh, for example, for test coordinators to centrally create the test cases and make a plan to execute these test cases. And it also helps you to do the automated testing using eCAT. It's quite easy using Solution Manager to manage meaning to say to manage this entire test case it will be quite easy if you use solution manager. Moreover the solution manager also have capability to do change management functionality for your landscape change management. It is quite useful to track the transports as well as the approval steps within the landscape can be tracked using the change management process. Okay now let's have a technical view about this how does the customizing going to work. For example when we create a country let's say when you go to SAP system okay, let me go to SPRO 
an SAP reference IMG. Let me give a general setting, setting country and define countries. Here we know how to create a country. So when you create a country, generally what we are doing is we are going to save this information, so all this information in different tables or maybe one table or multiple tables in a form of table entries. So when you are creating a country, this customizing are saved in the form of table entries or this customizing entries are saved in the form of tables. It can be one or it can be multiple. So in case now we are creating for the country, then we have quite many customizing tables. For example, table T005 which saves also the uh, countries and T005X also save the countries and 005T also change save the countries as well as the text. So you have, you can see the relations of different tables and link together and create this customizing entries. Okay, this is about customizing. So when you are creating this customizing, so you will be transporting, when you create a TR for this particular customizing, you are going to create a transport which has this table entries. Let's create one country in our system. Let's say I will say Z02. This is the old entries which we have created. Okay. Let's say ZZ is country 10 and I will select some date format. We can also put quite a lot of information. I will say save. I will create a new basis customizing country. Okay, this is the TR which we are going to create. Okay, now we have created a TR for this customizing. We can put quite a lot of information. We made it quite small. So if I go to the TR, let's say go to the TR, let's see 0, 01 display. It's from the IMG activity. So you can see a view of this table. That is, this V means it's a view. You can also view this, let's say, C16. You can see this is the view of the particular entry which we have created. So this two different thing. The view and the table is different thing. View is collection of different field entries. It can be from one table or it can be from multiple tables. So in this view have different tables here. Okay. This is the entry which, which we have created. The entry which we have created is ZZ. Okay. And we also have different tables. Let's say T005. It's also one table. So this particular entry has created some, this particular customizing is created some entries in many tables. Okay. So let's select what are all the fields we want. Okay, we only wanted to see the country key. Okay, if I say Z to Z, the one which we have created, you can see the entries is created here. Okay, so like this, if I go to the next table, T, you can also see the land one that is the field which we have created, you can see the test country 01. Same like that you have in another table which is X. 
it. Then we have created different table entries in three different tables. So all these things together, there is a view which is v underscore t005. Okay. This is about customizing. How customizing is done and how the TRs for the customizing being created or what are the TR contains. Okay, with this we are coming to the end of this session. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.